Hello friends, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. Today we are going to start a series of tutorials for milling operations in Mastering Camp 2018. So this will be our first tutorial for this series. Before starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button to get all the updates from my channel. And also don't forget to share your comments and valuable suggestions in the comment section. If you have any doubts regarding this tutorial, you may ask in the comment i will reply as quickly as possible so let's start our tutorial first of all open mastercam 2018 click on file now click on configuration go to current and in this box select metric now click ok this is done for dimensioning in metric system that is mm for drawing any profile we will have to go to wireframe and now carefully observe the problem uh, I am going to consider this point in origin and after that I am going from this point to this point and this point to this point and so on so go in once you can click on line in element line in points and now bring the origin here and start from this point and go vertically upward and reach here and give the dimension 50 and then press enter now you have to go from this point to this point for inclined line we always have to find the coordinate of the in point so the coordinate of this in point is 50 comma 100 now start from this and go to plus x y z and give the value 50 comma 100 and then press enter now we have to go from this point to this point and the distance will be 150 minus 50 that is 100 so click here go horizontally right side and then click here and give the distance 100 and press enter now we have to draw this line from this point to this point and the distance will be 100 minus 30 that is 70 so click at this point and come down vertically and give here 70 and press enter now I am going to draw this line from this point to this point and the distance will be 150 minus 30 that is 120. So start from here and release here and go in this box and type 120 and press enter now click ok. Now we have to draw this arc of radius 30 mm. For this we will have to go here and select arc in point and carefully select the first and the second arc and release here and go here and give the radius 30 and press enter now click ok thus our arc is formed now we have to uh, give the coordinate of the center of these two holes and the coordinate of this center of these two holes first for first 25 comma 25 and the for second 125 comma 75 so go click on po into position and type 25 comma 25 you will automatically get here 25 comma 25 and press enter now again type 125 comma 75 and press enter now click ok thus you can see that the coordinate of the center is drawn now we will have to draw the circle of uh, uh, diameter 10 so go here and click on this circle center point and now take this point as center and release here and go here and give the radius as 5 and press enter now again go here and select this point as center and go here and give the radius as 5 and press enter now click ok now there is no need for this point so select this and press the delete button on keyboard select this and press the delete button on keyboard Thus we have drawn our profile according to given question. Now we have to exclude this profile. For this first of all right click the mouse button and then go to isometric view. Now click on solid and now click on exclude and now click on chain and now select the chain and now click OK. And since the direction of in is in upward direction I have to reverse the direction for this click on profile and then go here and give the thickness the thickness is 10 mm so 
type here 10mm and then press enter now click ok now we have to um, drill these two holes for this again click on screwed and select the chain and select this circle and this circle and click ok so you can clearly see the di direction is upward first of all tick on cut body and then reverse the direction and now uh, click on through all and now click ok so our actual profile in solid is now drawn now we have to select the machine so this is the milling problem that's why we have to click on machine and then select the mill and then click default so our machine is selected now click on this plus sign and then click on stock setup and now click on all solids so it will automatically track the stock for this setup now we are going to increase some dimension by 5 mm in it uh, in x and y and 1 mm in z so 105 press enter 155 press enter and 11 in z now click ok so you can clearly see that the red cuboid is the stock for this particular uh, object that we are going to get after the all operation now we have to perform the various operations or create tool path for facing drilling and then contour to get the this object so first of all click on facing and now click on chain and then select the this chain now click ok so you can clearly see that facing is selected now click on tool and go to select library and click on filter and select this face mill if all if all is selected then click on none and then select this and click ok and now select a uh, tool of suitable diameter that is 50 now click ok now click on holder do not change anything keep it is as it is now click on cut parameters go here and select zigzag and always don't forget to give here zero and go to linking parameter do not change upper three box only change here the amount to by which you want to remove the material i want to remove one mm material so minus one since the direction is downward i have to give the minus now click ok so you can clearly see that the tool path is generated for this uh, facing operation now we have to drill these two holes for drilling click on drill now select the center of the these two holes carefully now click ok now go to tool click on select library click on filter and then go here and then select drill and then go here and press equal and give the and diameter the diameter of the uh, hole is 10 mm so you should always go here and select from this was equal for drilling always select equal and then give the diameter of hole that is 10 mm okay now click ok and then select first tool and then click ok now go to holder do not change anything go to stock and use stock click on use stock now go to cat parameter now click ok and uh, do not change anything go to linking parameter and give here the depth of hole and since the depth of hole is 10 mm i'm going to increase it by 5 mm that is minus 15 and the, so that it do not leave any material at the base of the hole now click ok so you can clearly see that the tool path is generated for drill now we have to perform the contour operation for the uh, side by side clearance so click on contour then click on chain and now select the chain and then click ok now go to tool click on select library tool click on filter and then select this anvil face and now click ok and select the first tool and now click ok click on holder do not change anything keep it is as it is default of code cut parameter do not change anything click on leaking parameter and give the value here 
the depth that is minus 10 since minus 10 is equal to the depth of the uh, object I am going to increase it by 5 that is minus 15 so that it will clearly remove all the material now click OK so you now for combine in all the operations on tool path click on tool path group 1 and now click on regenerate all selected operations so you can clearly see that click on tool path group 1 and then click on regenerate all selected operation now click on verify selected operation so it will take some time and a new window will open in front of you minimize this a little bit and now go to verify and click on color loop to provide different colors for different operation now click on play button so the facing operation is going on now the drilling is going on now final operation that is counter operation thus we have created our required profile and this profile look pretty much good according to our requirements so thank you for watching please like and share this video as much as you can and subscribe my channel to get all the updates from my channel thank you bye bye